Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Adaib Electronics World and today we are going to discuss about the LM317T and how you can reach the output of zero volts. In today's video we will implement an improvement of our previous design using the LM317T in order to get an output of zero volts. As you can see here we are using two LM317 and also some extra components in order to reach our expectation and have zero volts. If you don't remember how I designed the previous adjustable voltage regulator, uh, I would encourage you to go back and check my previous video. Let's start with the first voltage regulator. So as you can see, we have a, a resistor R2, which is equal to 0.65. So this is called the RSC resistor and it's fixed value and it sets the short circuit current limit. So in order to identify the V1 output, this output here, you need to do the V adjustable voltage plus 125 because as I said in the previous episode we have the output equal to 125 volts. Continue with the Q1, Q1 practically is a JFET and it's the 2N3822. Uh, you can check the data sheet and the characteristics of this JFET, but it's also uh, provided in uh, this design here. It's the data sheet of the LM317 and it has uh, the circuit uh, which is given. I just have added one extra resistor in order to improve it. Practically, that JFET is a simple constant current generator. And then, as you can see, we have the D1 and D2 uh, diodes, which yeah, they, they create a, a small voltage drop, let's say 0 0.7 to up to this point and 0 point, another 0 0.7 to this point as well. So in total, 1.4 volts drop. So practically, we, we are dropping the, in, the V input of the second LM317. By adding this potentiometer here, which is 1K ohm, we can practically adjust with a diode uh, the, the input of the second LM. Similarly, here on the second part, we have exactly almost the same logic. We have the LM317. And then we are using the D3 and D4, which are clapping diodes uh, on the top of the Q2, which again a JFET. But in that case, uh, the dataset recommends to use the 2N5640, but I couldn't find it on Proto, so I'm using the 2N5566, and I didn't have the time, to be honest, to create a new JFET. So I've just used that, it's very similar and it does the job. And as you can see again, the two diodes are going to have some uh, voltage drop across to uh, the Q2 and then the 240 ohms resistor and the 5K uh, potentiometer can adjust practically the output and set it equal to zero. So as you can see here, while I'm changing the second potentiometer, you can see the output start increasing by reducing the value of the resistance. And it will go, so another point which is not very clear, but I have, if you will see here, I have set it my uh, voltage meter. So I'm using a minus 10 volt and minus 10 volt here. In the reality, you need to use some extra circuit here in order to convert, to, to be able to reach the minus 10 volt. It's not that easy. I will cover it in the next episode, this bit. And as you can see here, we have the first output, which is 30 volt. So practically the input is 35 volt. But as I said, we have some small voltage drop here. The input, it will be 30 volt. So practically by changing the, the potentiometer, which is equal to 5K, you can reach the, the output that you really want. And by changing and set it equal to 0%, you will see that the output 
is 26.1. Of course, it has some losses. It's not the ideal, but this is the easy way, the easiest way for me to use these two voltage regulators in order to have an output equal to zero volts. That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If yes, please share and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode.